Good evening. Good evening. Come and get a good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. That's better, yay! And thank you for that rousing introduction, Ren. You're welcome. I'm, I'm almost blushing. Almost. Aww. Aww. <laughs> okay, I am blushing. Thank you. Um, yeah, so, uh, yes, I'm Tom, uh, and I like to consider that I continue the great tradition of Jewish American comedians. But I think you can tell from my accents, I'm Catholic. <laughs> um, now, I was thinking about pirates the other day. How's that for a link? Yeah. Um, basically, I, I mean, pirates are fun, aren't they? You know, brilliant, you know, yo ho ho, shiver me timbers, bottle of rum, and all that kind of thing. They're great, aren't they? No! No, pirates were bastards. Pirates were the most evil, unhygienic, and unpleasant men you would ever meet on the high seas. They would just as soon slit your throat and steal your ham sandwich as they would look at you. And yet, we celebrate these people. I'm starting to wonder if in 300 years, it'll be the same for the Nazis. <laughs> Hello? Is that Herr Heinrich? And his cavalcade of Reich-based fun? <laughs> We're having a party on Saturday. <laughs> My son Joshua. <laughs> it's a Nazi party. <laughs> do, do you think you could come along as... Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Oh yes, bring Ava as well. <laughs> uh, my name? My, Mrs. Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was new. Rock up! a very busy time for me lately. I've very recently moved house. I now live in Battersea, of all places. Can I get a woo for Battersea? Woo! Was that a woo or a boo? <laughs> 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 well, yeah, I live uh, fairly near Clapham Junction. I don't know if you know the area. Like, you, there's this big kind of uh, commercial park. It's got everything you can need. There's like a Boots, a Lidl, and an Asda. <laughs> I never thought I would feel posh carrying an Asda bag, <laughs> but when I walked past Little, I did. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we only moved in there about a month ago, and um, we hired a man and van company, um, which you know we figured would make things a bit easier. Um, well, it would have if they'd sent the man with the van. <laughs> Three hours that guy was stood around waiting for the van. Finished off our tea and biscuits. But um, I got chatting with the guy, um, and he was Australian as well. Very nice guy. Good. Credit to your people. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot more racist than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> and I, um, yeah, I got talking to the guy, and um, basically, they have this special code that they learn in removal school. Um, basically, um, they have this series of labels, um, and living room means bedroom. <laughs> Lounge means bathroom. And fragile means throw at the back of the van as hard as is humanly possible. But I suppose it was a bit easier than asking my parents to help me move. Um, and I'm, I'm not knocking my parents, they're lovely people, but they're just too helpful. So I mean, the last time they helped me move, they insisted on getting everything into the flat, unpacking all the boxes, putting everything away in its right place. And, you know, I'm trying to get them to leave as I'm sneaking a box of condoms out of the bottom of the last bag and putting it into my bottom drawer. And I turn around and uh, see that my mother's stacking my shelves with porn. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded, but it wasn't my porn. She just brought it along as a gift. <laughs> but that's my mum. Lovely to the end. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're kind of settling into the place, getting used to the area. We found the Asda, you know, and um, we've we've got this special entry phone system. Now, I don't know if any of you live in a big block of flats, but um, you have this thing where basically there's um, a series of buttons on the front door with a loudspeaker. They tap in the name of your flat, and a phone rings near your door. So you answer the phone. They say who they are. You don't quite hear what they say, but you let them in. Because <laughs> you don't want to leave them waiting in case it's someone important. You know? But um, I recently discovered there's this other button there, labelled Tradesman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've heard, yeah. I, I, I was thinking Dad was a guy who had a tradesman's entrance, but. Uh... <laughs> I do. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> that wasn't planned, you know, <laughs> but I might keep it in. Brilliant. <laughs> um, yeah, but basically, you press this button and the door opens. I'm thinking there's a bit of a flaw in the security <laughs> of the building there. You know, I mean, can you imagine this group of hardened criminals casing the joint for a burglary? Right, let's. How are we going to get in here then? There we go. Third floor, open window. Right, Bazza, you're small. Shimmy up that drain pipe, climb in through the window, ran down the stairs, open the door, and let us in. Can we just use this button, Dave? <laughs> no! That is the trades music. <laughs> And while being a burglar may be a job in its own right, we have neither been bonded by a national organisation nor taken any qualifications, vocational or purely academic, that would allow us to call ourselves men of trade. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, we're great, right, great. So, um, watching Lord of the Rings the other day, <laughs> that's my bank holiday, Lord of the Rings Marathon. <laughs> And uh, I don't know if you know the story, but uh, basically Frodo and his mate Sam, they uh, meet up with a bunch of their friends, go to a pub, meet up with another friend, go to an Elvish restaurant, go out, get in a massive fight, lose all the friends, and end up lying on the side of a hill, unable to move. And then when they go home, Sam gets married. It's basically a stag do. <laughs> and Frodo, Frodo bitches about carrying that ring for the entire bloody journey, and then drops in in a volcano. What kind of a shit best man was he? Um, so unsurprisingly, I used to get bullied at school. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> um, now, I, I don't know if anyone else ever had this experience, but I, actually, can you raise your hand if you ever had really, really cheap trainers? Yeah. Brilliant. Everyone else, keep your hands up. Look at those people. <laughs> they know true pain. <laughs> I, was, I was always the kid that had the really cheap trainers with no brand on them and Velcro. So I didn't just look poor, I looked retarded as well. But I, if I was in school now, when you have to take a knife in to get respect, my mum would be sending me in with a bloody butter knife. <laughs> Like you mess with me, man. I'm gonna spread you in it. <laughs> so that was, uh, yeah, that was my youth, um, geekery and getting bitten. But I'm not bitter because I have faith in the world. Because our world leaders, are brilliant people. I know some of you may disagree with me, but they keep trying. G20, G8, G7. They're going to sink that battleship one day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank 